Yes, science, bitch. Yes, science. Welcome to the mystery of skin wrinkling in water. Controlled by our autonomic system, this phenomenon has left scientists puzzled. What's the reason behind our prune-like fingers and toes after a long soak? Studies suggest that wrinkled extremities might aid in gripping wet objects, an evolutionary advantage for our ancestors. Gathering food in wet conditions or escaping predators over slippery rocks could have been made easier with this unusual adaptation. The thick layer of dead keratin cells on our hands and feet subjected to wear and tear might explain why these parts wrinkle and not others. Imagine having skin as thin as our backs on our palms. Sports wouldn't be nearly as fun. Our skin, or epidermis, is a complex structure. Four layers, namely the stratum corneum, granular layer, squamous cell layer, and basal cell layer, make up our skin along with subcutaneous tissue and dermis. The outermost layer, the epidermis, swells when it absorbs water. Since it's attached tightly to the skin underneath, it compensates for the increased area by wrinkling. New research is also probing into the role of digital vasoconstriction. Signals from our brain make blood vessels under the skin constrict, causing the skin to pucker and wrinkle. It's akin to a scared cat whose fur stands on end. So the next time you notice your wrinkly skin after a swim or a bath, marvel at the science behind it. Stay tuned for our next episode on black hole collisions. And don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating science facts. Thank you for watching. For more science videos, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a like.